Our Honorable Chief Guest, His Excellency Air Vice Marshal A. Mafid Rahman, in his long decorated career at Bangladesh Air Force, has performed duties of various important roles successfully. He has successfully discharged responsibilities as the Air Officer Commanding at two important air base in the country. I am extremely overwhelmed to get this opportunity to invite our Honorable Chief Guest on stage to give a few words regarding our graduate students. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Honorable Chief Guest, Air Vice Marshal M. Mafidur Rahman, Honorable Chairman, Civil Aviation Authority Bangladesh. United College of Aviation and Science and Management. Um, the, first of all, uh, the, all the presents say that uh, Front is our special guest, Mr. Nuhlamin, who is the chairman of uh, um, uh, this college, prestigious college, and also the foundation. And we have the big engineer, Tamim, we have Melody Hart, Kutim, and our um, uh, executive director, Mohammed Mr. Mohammed Ali, and uh, we have uh, Mika Brother Yuzul, our honor guest, and other guests, and by the including uh, students. Guardians, faculties, our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. Paying respect to them and coming to congratulate the graduating students on this very special occasion. Artist congratulations to all of you. It is a really great pleasure for me to be present in this auspicious occasion and handing over the certificate to all of you. As a chairman of civil aviation authority, there cannot be anything greater for me as a uh, head of head of uh, this aviation in Bangladesh that uh, gives really uh, just a satisfaction that now so many potential profession of next generation today have been graduated. I'd like to congratulate the United College of Aviation for making this endeavor and making a very good success. I also like to congratulate the chairman, special chairman, founder and this, uh, of this uh, special institutions for really contributing a lot to the aviation industry. Thank you. As I said, you know, the aviation, uh, it gives me proud, it gives me a good feeling because of the few reasons. First of all, our father of the nation, he envisaged, he dreamt that Bangladesh will be the hub of aviation in the region. And today, it is going to be materialized by the able leadership of his daughter, our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina who has given us so much of endeavor, effort to develop this industry in Bangladesh so that now we can see that aviation industries in Bangladesh is growing so fast and it is tangible. You can see the development. Started with only one aircraft after in 1972, uh, that Biman came in and the civil aviation activities started in the, in the hand of uh, our father of the nation. And from there now we have a big our, uh, you see, the Biman Airlines, Biman Bangladesh Airlines, it's a big a new fleet of Boeing and many other aircraft. And we have two more very, uh, I must say that at this moment running US Bangla, now here. And, and we have a couple of other airlines also by right now, they are operating here. And also there are some of the, some more are coming up in the next uh, couple of years, there will be more uh, airliners coming. And also we have a big general aviation at this moment and uh, we can move more than 30 helicopters, some fixed wing aircraft, and we have some flying clubs and uh, many other aviation activities are taking place in Bangladesh and it is because of our honorable Prime Minister who is giving direct uh, patronization on this all activities and we are going very fast and that is quickly directly contributing to our economy. Our today, the growth in aviation, uh, the transportation, you know that uh, our uh, International Civil Aviation Organization or Air Transportation, IATA, what you call, 
we have seen all this organization they have carried out study and they feel that in next 20 years this whole gamut gamut will be double amount the transportation especially the asia pacific carry this transportation with what you see today the it will be double now in next by 2035 and we, it is already uh, visible in our country we have seen the growth in the transport, uh, air transportation we the capacity in bangladesh it was only uh, 80 lakhs now there is a requirement now we are fully saturated in bangladesh in the aviation sector now there is a requirement you know that we are going carrying out the uh, construction of third terminal just to accommodate there is another requirement 1.2 million there is another uh, total requirement is uh, in 2035 we have assessed that there will be total number of uh, two crore passengers annual passengers growth is a requirement and today our country has emerged as a uh, from the least development to the developing country and our government is showing a dream showing us a dream to take us to the developed countries in 2041 and all this you as today graduation and gives me an awesome feeling that we are going in the right direction and we are really contributing to the national development economic development not only the aviation sector sector in the uh, economic development also we are contributing a lot and that is you know that one of the uh, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal that goal number four, there are 17 goals. The four, number four goal is the, the quality of education. And through the quality of education, sustainable development can be achieved. And that is why our Ministry of Education, our all other uh, education institutions are being developed in a fashion so they have a uh, they are giving quality education. And today I am mean, here, in fact I did not have much knowledge of this institution. So thank you for bringing me here and giving me some feeling that we are doing, the country is going the right direction, you are going in the right direction and the right people have been chosen and given a quality of education that those not only contribute to the development of aviation, also for the development of our uh, country which is the dream of our father nation to make it a national matter and you people will be doing that. You will to take the lead in this nation in the aviation sector. I am really happy as our big regional Tommy is saying about our one of the graduate experience that on the way he uh, expressed this it off. He spoke really well and we are touched by you as well. You say what you say very well and all of you I see your faces I could recognize that you are very happy all of you are very happy and me also too that you will be the guy in the coming days you will take the lead of our aviation sector as I said there is a huge prospectus of prospect of our uh, aviation industry and uh, it is now the global demand as you have got this education as the institutions have given you a basic uh, education and when you graduate and which has enabled you to go, you just completed for the first stage of your uh, persuasion, pursuing a career in the aviation sector. You will have to take, you will have to further nurture this education, flourish your knowledge so that you can really uh, fit into the right kind of uh, qualities that you acquire to meet the requirement of this ever fast growing aviation and you know the aviation now is a very innovative field where innovation, uh, correct technology and many other things are coming up very fast, technology is moving very fast and what you will find after 5 years, maybe 10 years, you will find that the, the job opportunity to what is the job that we have at the market now that has been transformed based on the technology, the rapid advanced technology will really make you different. The life has become different as you have witnessed during this COVID pandemic that you have done your training through the uh, virtual means. You uh, did not come to the classes but you have got your education and this education was no less, no less, rather sometimes more. You already said that sometimes in midnight you had been doing the class
classes. So that was the biggest advantage of our IT that we, and also I'd like to thank our government to prepare the field for us. We were ready, many countries are not ready to face the Republic, but Bangladesh is right here. We are ready because of the government effort and especially the great leadership that has been shown by our honorable Prime Minister. She was down every day from early morning to evening. And that's why and also IT sector was fully ready and we could be online doing all these classes, all these activities. The civil aviation sector, you know, we were really, uh, we never got stuck. Many of the airliners made by the backup. Many of the airports have closed today. But Bangladesh, since the, uh, this, we had closed around 26th uh, March uh, 2020, the first COVID. But that was a very temporary one. But we did not stop a single day of operation. We continued giving service. You know, here's the number of Bangladesh them inside and the foreigners left. So all their activities, humanitarian, medical education, all these activities are continue here. Uh, here and all our turbo flights were all and we we are one of the first countries in the world we opened our domestic airlines, we opened our international airlines. Now we have come back to the almost like normal operation. Despite a lot of difficulties we have been there and I am very hopeful. You guys will do really good and we will contribute uh, in our education, in our economy, as I say. And our, my advice to you will be that you have to pursue your knowledge. As a graduate, you have to be graduated. As I learned, it will be also continue your education. In some of you will be going to UK and completing your engineering there. And uh, thereafter also, you will have to make your dream fulfilled by your strong persuasive, persuasive um, uh, attitude. You will have to really work hard so that your dreams, like the way our, this young man, he explained that he never failed. He, although he was rejected three times in the day, some other failed, but he continued. So I want this kind of attitude to be maintained. Continue, pers continue pursue your aim so that your dream is fulfilled and only then you will be successful and i was very happy to see that the way you express the environment in the university and this college and the friendship that you have please maintain that connectivity this connectivity is important your friends will be uh, needed your teachers your faculties your uh, uh, those who have become known have to learn known uh, no, uh, 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 make the friendship here this please continue maintain and that will be very much important. Connectivity not only here, connectivity, global connectivity. And aviation is a global business. Aviation is not a very uh, single centric or a very domestic affair. It is a very international affair. And you are on to it. You are on that journey to take this aviation industry in further light. So once again, my prayers, best wishes to all of you. May you continue uh, to flourish your career in the aviation sector. I'd like to see that our country has benefited out of your education, your knowledge, your expertise. And also you have a market outside, global market as they say. And all together, uh, this past COVID, uh, the uh, aviation sector will be uh, largest in the coming days. And we will all have to continue. So I'd like to congratulate all of you. Congratulate your parents. Congratulations to your all faculty members, those who supported you to acquire this knowledge, and a special thanks to the United College of Aviation Science and Management for their uh, sincere effort to make this uh, this uh, group of uh, our Bangladeshi young generation turning into the, uh, the expert professionals in the future aviation activities. So thank you. Thank you and my special felicitation to you all on this very occasion. May Allah save us all. May Allah give us courage, energy and wisdom so that we all can work together 
then uh, make the dream of our father of the nation, Shirar Allah. Okay? May Allah bless us all. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, Honorable Chairman. For your kind and enlightening words. Dear respected guests, I would like to request you all please join me again watching a short video clip and media coverage on United College of Aviation Science and Management.